It's a well-recognised fact that consultation is by far the best means of approaching health and safety issues at work. An OHS committee doesn't just open up communication channels between employer and employee representatives, it also provides a structure for regular discussion, review and analysis of health and safety matters. Research shows that larger committees can be ineffective. At least half of the members of the OHS committee should be employees or their elected representatives. As a committee member, you'll have to be able to clearly translate your thoughts into words. You have to be a good problem solver, a clear thinker, a good communicator and possess good negotiating skills. Effective committees are not dominated by one leader or member, but they provide an opportunity for members to work collaboratively and provide access to the information they need to make recommendations and decisions. When all is said and done, management still has the overall responsibility of providing a safe workplace and employees must make sure they work in a safe manner.